Hey everybody, Lord of the Losers here, zero one. Uh, ugh, sorry, uh, Lord of the Losers zero one here for you guys. And just a quick update. Um, I apologize for not uploading as often as some of you guys like. Um, one of the reasons because I've gotten another part-time job, so I have two part-time jobs with like a whole, and I've been kind of tired a bit here. So things have gotten a bit busier. Um, so I do apologize for that. The other thing I want to tell you guys is. We are about to hit my 1,000, 1,000, hi, yay, yay, 1,000, we're about to hit video 1,000, there we go, <laughs> I can't say 1,000, ugh, speech, how's it work, anyways so, though, um, for you guys, I was just wondering what you guys want to see, like, I'm pretty sure you guys want to see a Metabot game, so, I'm giving you guys one of three options here, comment below, otherwise I will pick one, randomly one of the three randomly that I really want to do so you guys have one of the three options here this will be a one hour special undisturbed it's not gonna be a stream I'm just gonna re record it and just post it on YouTube here for you guys I'm not gonna translate anything we're just gonna go we're just gonna see what the game has to offer here and that will be pretty much my um, side LP that I do it won't be translated but I want to give you guys something just because, you know, I love Metabots and a lot of you guys really like it too. So I want to give you guys something to watch and, you know, kind of play along if you want to. So, uh, the first game we have here is Metab Metabots 9 here, which is the classic version of uh, Build the Bot and we do turn based of select the head and attack. It's kind of like the GBA version here. Um, someone else has done a stream of it and. If you guys want to see me play, take a crack at it, I can do that too. The other games that we can do, um, they're both the same, just two different versions, is Metabot's Girl Mission. Yeah, you heard that right, it's Girl's Mission, where I think we're in high school. But basically, it plays out the same as Metabot's Duel, only everyone's a female. Yeah. So, uh, you get to pick from one of two. I have the Metabee version. Or I have the Rakusho version, as you can see on screen here. So, you guys get to, can choose which one of these three games you want to see. Do you want to see Metabots 9, where I play a male character? Or do you want to see Metabots Girls Mission, which I don't think is on YouTube. I don't think, I don't think anyone's been doing this yet. So, anyways, so, um, comment what you guys want to see. And then I will do one hour, uninterrupted, just going through. Not going to translate anything. Even though my OCD really really wants to translate just so I know what the heck the story is but um, I'll do that another time once the duel is finished so yeah those are your options and I thank you all for your patience and let's get back to the regular video here hello everybody and welcome back to let's play Metabots Duel Metabee version or Capito if you want to go with the actual translation let's see yeah I haven't actually done any training or actual leveling up or extra missions. I apologize for that. Things have been busy. But it's also because I've gone through... I've gone through... Um, I ha I've gone ahead and just kind of seen what's expected. We're not actually using any of our uh, regular meta parts this entire episode. So for the two missions that I have planned, we're unfortunately not going to be able to... We won't be using any of our parts. So that's a little unfortunate, but yeah, oh well. So, anyways, so, as always, we have some training missions to do. Because we. Because I like getting spare medals for no reason. Okay, so. Training mission number eight static training. That is not the correct term, but that's what Google gave me. Uh, time for static training to reduce the opponent's armor to one third. I feel like it's supposed to be um, percentage training. Oh well. Let's head on in. F7. We have some weird little fish thingies. Okay. Sure, I'll go along with that. It is time to use static. Hitting an opponent will lower the armor to one third. Very important here. One third. We've used this before. That was that um uh 
be neat. I'm, I'm not sure whether it was this version or Rakusho version, but it's that um, kind of bee needle meta part for the female arms that we've seen before. Let's see, the accuracy is bad, so use it on opponents with bad mobility, or you can you can use um, accuracy up or stun them or slow them. These are also very good alternatives. Just remember though, there's a pretty it's a pretty large long cooldown. Now let's begin. Defeat the enemy metabot. So yeah, just be aware of the cooldown for this meta part because it is fairly long. So yeah, as you can see, we took about one third. And remember, percentage damage, so it will never be zero, or for the most part, it'll take a long time before it actually gets down to zero. So that's why they gave us um, an actual attacking part. Whoop. I missed. There we go. Come on, just destroy the arm already. Fine, I'll destroy your head. There we go. So yeah, very effective meta part when you, there's a lot of armor and um, your opponent can't heal. But only attach one of these. You don't need two. Two is just overkill and you're just gonna have a rough rough fight if you just do that. Okay, all the way down to oh we have some other train missions. And here's up. Excuse me. Train mission number thirty one, recovery aid training. Train using parts that that aid in recovery. Uh, you will use repair. So fairly straightforward, fairly straightforward. So yeah, we've all seen this one before, but there are different sections, and I don't think this one will tell us what that is, but uh, you will be using Keep Repairing, or as some of you guys might want to just call it, um, Auto Repair. The, part, the parts effect will keep recovering your team's armor, very nice. But just remember that, you know, it's like slow tick, so let's say uh, five armor every second or so. Now let's begin. Defeat the enemy metabot. So let's turn that on. Okay, yeah, so fairly straightforward. I'm glad they gave us missiles. This would be a nightmare with um, grappling attacks. Well, not a nightmare, but it'd be uh, a bit more annoying. Okay, all he has is his head. I'm still not so sure about what the actual um, distribution of damage is. Like maybe if it's if it's um, a really powerful hit, or if it's not a critical hit, it'll just go in the order of leg, right arm, left arm, head. <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure how the game calculates the damage distribution. It'd be very helpful to know, but anyways, so. And now, for for the training that all of you probably really want to know, Medaka, Medaka, Medaka training. Medaka, Medakai, I don't know. It is time to use the, the Medaka, which can only be activated by attaching specific parts. This is the training that uses the meta change. 
I'm very disappointed. What the frick? Get that out of the way. How long has that been there? Sorry. Anyway, so this is the um, this is the train that uses the meta change. I'm slightly disappointed, but eh, whatever. You can't put too much in this game, otherwise it would overwhelm the system. I'll show you guys why it's a little disappointing. I'll, we'll see why here. <clears throat> Medaka is a special te technique that can be used when a specific combination of parts are attached. It is very powerful, but if even one part is destroyed, it cannot be activated. There's a trade-off. When the MF gauge reacts 100%, touch the bottom screen to release the proximity kicker in the front. When you are in close proximity, you will be able to use the Medaka. The trouble with this thing is that they don't explain well, not the proximity part, but they don't explain what the advantage is in terms of actual damage. So I really don't know, and I forgot to check what metal was attached to this metabot. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. Now, let's begin. Defeat the enemy metabot. The trouble with the Medaka here is that I'm not entirely sure what metal has to be attached. If, it's, if it matters, like, are there different Medakas that we'll see? Can we just use the tortoise metal because it's really f it charges up really fast? And in terms of damage, there's the question of does it do three times the damage? Is it a set damage per uh, parts attached? You never know. Like with this cockroach one, does he have a set damage that he does? I'm not really sure. Mind you, I've never used the Madaka that much, so we have to wait and see. So we have a relatively slow metaphorce attached to this metabot here. The trouble with this is that this guy is also a little fragile. <clears throat> I think. I could be completely wrong though. Ideally, I would like for this for the opponent to have all his parts so that we could see the full effect. I think it does all damage. It damages all the parts. If memory serves from when I did this. It was a while ago when I did this. Okay, so we'll, well, we'll use the mine one more time. Just want to ease up on the damage a bit here. It's 80, we're almost there. Gotta cover my arm a bit. 92, 93. Let's see, this is taking about. We started at like 200 or something. Hey, here's a proximity! So yes, it does damage all parts, so... I don't know which metal is attached, that's, that's one of the problems here. But yeah, it's very powerful and very useful because of that, because most of the other metaphorses just do straight damage, they don't damage all the parts. Right? But yeah, that's um, that's pretty much what we've been waiting for this entire time. Honestly, I was kind of hoping that it would have played out like um, the GBA version where you actually got to change your parts and you had different effects and all, but again, that would have been putting a lot more stress on the system and you know, just the amount of data that would have been needed to, to actually program all that in. I really can't blame them. So, 
what we've been given though, it is still pretty nice, nonetheless. I just wish that they were a bit more clear on the damage. I kind of feel like, um, in terms of damage, or, excuse me, I kind of feel like in terms of the damage, it relates back to the metal itself. That would make the most sense. So, if you use a tortoise metal, it has, I think, um, a damage of 50 or 60. What is our tortoise metal at? I think it's at, like, Let's see, where is it sitting at? So, yeah. Actually, I could just throw in a roll battle so that we could see the Madaka on uh, the Kabuto here. Or on um, Sakichi. Let's see, what is that? Oh. You're not, you don't even have it. Well, in any case, though, so, I kind of feel like it would be based around. 82 seconds, that's not bad. But yeah, I feel like it would be based around um, the metal's own damage. So if I use the dog metal, I'd be dealing 96 damage to all parts. Actually, that can't be right. Because that would mean this using the Kabuto metal, I would just instant kill the guy. <laughs> we should test that out, though. We should test that out. Mm-hmm. Dang, 480? I didn't know it was that strong. And it still has two more levels to go. Level 10 is the highest that these medals go. Dang. I'm excited. But we won't be able to find that out in this episode. Well, actually, that's not true. We can, but it'll be at the end. Anyway, though, I digress. Mission 29, Experiment at the Metabot Research Institute. Uh, test development parts according to the instructions of the requester. Conditions. Complete the request. Win one round. And the other one is win all the rounds. So, this is a bit of an interesting one. Get back on full screen. Goodbye. Alright, I haven't been here for a while. Let's see. Huh? Nami, get over here! Sorry. Is this everyone? Then let's begin. Can I have your watch, Nami-san? Sure. Here you go. Hand it over, Meta Watch, or as the game keeps calling it, I hand it over my smartphone. I really don't know why they do that, but we're about to see why it's called a smartphone. Or rather, it should be called a tablet. Thank you. Thank you. This will only be a minute. Well then, Ay Ayami-chan, thank you for your consideration. Ah, uh, let's see. Yes, here are the three units. I'll be off then. See you later. Anyways, why did you request us? Yeah, what is it? Without my metal watch, I can't use my metal bot. Are we even row battling? Of course you of course you will. This time you will be using partners prepared by us. Okay? Why the pause? And see, that's why I said this should be more of a tablet rather than smartphone. Anyway, so what? This is. These are the alternative watches or smartphones. Inside there is once there is a Metabot set that you can activate. Ooh. So please choose your favorite smartphone. There is a different Metabot in each one. I'm looking forward to seeing them. Each one is different, then... I wonder what to do... Well... So, our options are... Red, Blue, or Orange. AKA Yellow, for some reason. I don't know why the game called it Yellow. It needs a lighter color. That looks orange. 
Anyway, so. Um. Let's see, which one's. Okay. Let's see, this one I picked the. Did I pick the red one? Yeah, the red one here. Yeah. I like red. Uh, hey! What are you- Okay, fine, I'm not telling you what I got. <laughs> Anyways, I can't see inside, even if you picked it first, I'm fine with it. You don't know what we got. <sighs> well, anyways, let's get started. Hang on a second, phone call. Ah, there we go. Uh, where are we? <clears throat> ah, right. Let's see, let's get started. Okay. Well then, I'll take... Oh. Wait, yeah. Well then, I'll take the yellow-colored one. I'm looking forward to what Metabot is inside. Sorry, I saw a period on my sentence and I thought she was done talking. <clears throat> well then, everyone. Please go to the test room. From now on, what I want you to do is have a mini tournament between the three of you. What? It was part of the plan, so no need to be surprised. It's not a competition. This this is part of the actual... What did I write? Warfare test? Ooh. Scary. Whether you win or lose, you don't have to worry. Please fight as you like. Are you sure? The last time someone says you don't have to win, we still lost. <laughs> so I don't trust what any of you scientists say. So, first off, thank you. Nami-san and Yoshino, please enter the test room. Wow, Nami-chan, this will be our first fight. Or, our first time fighting. <laughs> Do you want a hint? Hmm? A hint? Really? Don't do something like that. Oh, there she goes. Hello. Alright, get going. I won't lose, so fight seriously. Okay, Nami, this is not just a test. This is a real fight. Got it, got it, got it. Sheesh. When you're ready, please walk through the gate and enter the test room. Let's start the road battle. Are you ready? Excuse me. Yes. Okay, so, for those of you wondering, no, this is not scripted. Whichever one of the um, watches that you choose, you will get one of the following. If you choose the orange colored one, you will get the metabot that uh, Yoshino is currently controlling, which is a, which is that tornado metabot. If you choose the orange one, if you choose the red one, like I chose, you will get this fish metabot, and if you choose the blue one, you will get the metabot that NG has. So, I like that little factor. So, let's begin. Now, we have seen this metabot before. Uh, it was in one of our challenge missions. In case you've forgotten, this metabot causes the other metabot to slowly recharge their attack. So, I just need a good shot here. There we go. Just like that. Ow. Are you? Oh my god. Oh, I hate aqua parts because you can't tell when they're dashing. We are fucked. Yeah. Oh my god. 
But yeah, the tornado one is very powerful, but I just hate lob shots. Who's phoning? Yeah. Reminders. Okay. Let's see. Yes! Good job, Yoshino. You won the first round. Oh, boy. I did it! <laughs> Let's see. Well then, next up is Yoshino and Enji. Enji Kun. Please go to the test room. Alright. I won't lose to you. I think that's what she said. I'll just type in what she wrote, said, just in case it's something different. I didn't lose this on the other one, so. <sighs> Please wait until their battle is over. Oh, and please don't leave the room. You can do whatever you want. So, we could talk to everybody, but I don't think they actually have anything new to say. Also, I was lazy and didn't bother checking. But we can go through this door. I think we were off... It was restricted before. But we can go in here. Hmm? Oh my god, listen to that music. Ah, memories. Well, hmm. I understand. I do not. I don't have the right to stop you. However, there is also the research on the Senkinen. If you create something, that's it. Is it not? Will it help out society? It would do the complete opposite. You need to keep that in mind. Also... What? You don't say. Only a researcher who loves metabots can do it. Absolutely. The doctor looks like he's on the phone. I shouldn't interrupt. I'll stop for today. Bye, Aki. Oh. Uh, I thought it would be a bit different. <laughs> that was my technique. Even with a metabot I don't know, it was an easy victory. Let's see. Next up is Enjikun and Nami san. Please enter the test room. So, I don't think they have anything new to say. Oh, wait, yeah, they do. Let's see. <laughs> Next up is Nami. Ha! Victory has already been decided. That depends. If we're in the grass field, then yes, victory has been decided for you. If we're in the water area, I should have a better time. Next is Enjikun and Nami-san's turn. Both of you do your best. Thank you. Alright, let's go in. So yes, if you choose the blue... The blue Minotaur watch, you'll fight... You'll be using the Minotaur there. Which is... He summons a turret from his head, he has shields on his arm, and he has a hammer. So, very interesting diversity on that guy. But beware of the turret, it's very powerful. I'm not gonna have a good time. I'm not having a good time. I knew it was gonna happen. I should have just not.
I'd rather just call it quits here, really, honestly. But we'll see what the hell. Another. What metal's in here? Yeah, I wasn't gonna do squat there. <laughs> 